Drew Walter Peterson is a retired Bolingbrook, Illinois, police sergeant and convicted felon who first received national publicity in the United States in 2007 when his fourth wife, Stacey Ann Cowles Peterson, disappeared. Suspicion of foul play grew within the public and law enforcement, fueled in part by the untimely death of Drew's third wife just three years prior. Stacy was never found, and Peterson has not been charged in her case. In 2009, Peterson was indicted for the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio, after a second autopsy showed evidence of a struggle. He was convicted in 2012 and received his sentence of 38 years on February 21, 2013. Peterson is currently incarcerated at the Menard Correctional Center in Chester, Illinois. Including a four-year credit for time served, Peterson's earliest possible release date is May 7, 2047 when he will be 93 years old. He maintains his innocence. On February 9, 2015, the Illinois Attorney General announced that Peterson will be charged with two felonies, for solicitation of murder and solicitation of murder for hire, for attempting to have Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow killed. Early life and military service, in 1972, Peterson graduated from Willowbrook High School in Villa Park, Illinois, where he ran cross-country. He joined the U.S. Army after graduation and briefly attended the College of DuPage in 1974 before moving to Falls Church, Virginia to train as a military police officer. Law enforcement career, Peterson had a 30-year career as a police officer. He began working with the Bolingbroke Police Department in Illinois in 1977. In 1978, he was assigned to the Metropolitan Area Narcotics Squad, and in 1979, he received a Police Officer of the Year Award from the department. Marriages equals Carol Brown equals, Drew Peterson and Carol Brown met in high school in Villa Park, Illinois, and together attended his senior prom. They married in 1974, but divorced in 1980, after Brown learned about his infidelity. Together they had sons Stephen Paul Peterson and Eric Drew Peterson. Equals Victoria Connolly equals, Peterson married his second wife, Victoria Connolly, in 1982. Connolly alleged a history of abuse during her ten-year marriage to Peterson, as has her daughter, who lived in the household from the age of eight to the age of seventeen. She divorced Peterson after he started dating Kathleen Savio. Their divorce was finalized on February 18, 1992. Peterson married Savio two months later. In 2007, Connolly stated that Peterson was a legend in his own mind. Equals Kathleen Savio equals, Peterson married Kathleen Savio on May 3, 1992. Together they had two sons, Thomas and Christopher. Their divorce was finalized on October 10, 2003. It was reported that between 2002 and 2004, police were called out to the Peterson house 18 times on domestic disturbance calls, including calls for returning children late after visitation. On March 1, 2004, Kathleen Savio's body was found in a waterless bathtub. Her death was initially ruled an accidental drowning by a coroner's jury that included a police officer who personally knew Peterson and assured the other jurors that Peterson was a good man who would never hurt his wife. However, following Stacy Peterson's later disappearance, Savio's body was exhumed and underwent forensic examination on November 16, 2007. Dr. Michael Baden, a former New York City chief medical examiner who conducted the examination at the request of Savio's relatives and Fox News, concluded that she died of drowning following a struggle when her body was placed in the bathtub. The results of the official autopsy ordered by the county have yet to be released to the public. Will County, Illinois State's attorney James Glasgow told the press that after examining evidence in the case, he believed that the death was a homicide staged to look like an accident. On February 21, 2008, Glasgow announced that a pathologist determined that Savio's death was a homicide, adding that the death had been investigated as such since reopening the case following the exhumation. Reverend Neil Shurry, a pastor at Stacy Peterson's church, reported that Stacy had told him that Drew had killed Kathleen Savio and had made it look like an accident and that she was afraid of her husband. Stacy had provided Drew's alibi for his whereabouts on the evening on which Kathleen Savio died. 
the trial of Drew Peterson, proceeding in July 2012, was jeopardized when prosecutors attempted to introduce evidence that was not allowed. The Chicago Tribune reported about 9 p.m. that the judge would rule on a mistrial on August 2, 2012. On August 15, 2012, Peterson told a judge that he wanted to withdraw a request for a mistrial. His lawyers said that he wanted the current jury to decide if he killed his third wife. On September 6, 2012, Peterson was convicted of killing Savio. On February 21, 2013, Peterson was denied a mistrial and sentenced to 38 years in prison. Equals Stacy Ann Cowles equals Peterson married Stacy Ann Cowles on October 18, 2003, and she subsequently took the married name Stacy Peterson. Together they have two children, a son Anthony and a daughter Lacey. She disappeared on October 28, 2007. Stacy Peterson was officially reported missing in the early hours of October 29, 2007, after her sister, Cassandra Cowles, failed to hear from her when expected. Drew Peterson claims that Stacy called him at 9 p.m. on Sunday to tell him that she had left him for another man and that she had left her car at Bolingbrook's Clow International Airport. The last known recorded words from Stacy Peterson were left on a voicemail on her father's answering machine on October 17 at 12.37 p.m., 11 days before she disappeared. The message said, Hey Dad. It's me, Stacy, I just wanted to call you and tell you I love you. I also wanted to give you my new phone number. Okay, love you. Legal trouble. Equals 2007 disappearance of Stacy Peterson equals, several leads were followed in the investigation by Illinois State Police, with FBI involvement. Four search warrants were issued and carried out on Peterson's property following Stacy's disappearance, including the seizure of his firearms and both his and Stacy's vehicles. Following the mysterious disappearance of Stacy on October 28, 2007, Peterson announced his plans to retire as a Bolingbroke police sergeant effective December 2007. On November 15, 2007, the Bolingbroke Police Pension Board voted to allow Peterson to collect his pension of $6,067.71 per month, stating current law gave him no option, as Peterson had not been convicted of a crime. Rick Mims Peterson's longtime friend, admitted that Drew Peterson and Mims bought three blue containers from a cable company where they both worked part-time in 2003, and provided photos of these containers to police. Mims also sold his story to the tabloids for an undisclosed sum of money. Peterson's stepbrother, Thomas Morphy, who has a history of drug and alcohol addiction, attempted suicide two days after allegedly helping Drew carry a large blue plastic container from Peterson's Bolingbroke home to his sport utility vehicle, fearing he may have helped dispose of the body of Stacy Peterson. Neighbors reported seeing Peterson and another man hauling a 55-gallon barrel, large enough to hold a person, out of the house shortly after Stacy's disappearance. Cassandra Cowles, Stacy's sister, said she wanted Drew Peterson to take a lie detector test about his knowledge of a blue barrel or container that she said she saw in their garage two days before Stacy disappeared. Joel Brodsky, Peterson's attorney, denied that any container was missing from Peterson's home. There were also reports of truckers referring to the containers, but their stories were treated as not credible after it was discovered that they had not been in the Bolingbroke area at the times they claimed. Equals April 2008 appearance on Larry King Live equals, Drew Peterson appeared on Larry King Live on April 11, 2008. His lawyer was present as an advisor regarding which questions Peterson should answer. The interview re on May 9, 2009, two days after Peterson's arrest. Peterson also has made guest appearances on radio station Wells with Manco Muller. After the appearance on WLS. Will County Judge Stephen White severely limited Peterson's access to the media? Equals 2008 engagement to Christina Raines equals, in December 2008, Drew Peterson's publicist Glenn Slick confirmed that Peterson was engaged to a 23-year-old, Christina Raines. She would have been his fifth wife. On January 30, 2009, it was made public that Raines had moved out of Peterson's house. Her father, Ernie Raines, had issued an ultimatum, 
forcing her to choose between him and Peterson. Reigns had issued the ultimatum to his daughter because he was concerned about the way Peterson tried to control Christina and was also scared that she would disappear just as Stacy had. Reigns moved out of Peterson's home, when she came to her senses, calling the engagement a publicity stunt designed to keep Peterson in the media spotlight. Equals 2009 Indictment over Savio Murder Equals On May 7, 2009, Peterson was indicted by the Will County Grand Jury and arrested for the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. Bail was set at $20 million. In October 2009, Peterson sued J.P. Morgan Chase for revoking a home equity credit line that he wanted to use to pay legal expenses. His income of nearly $109,000 per year was not sufficient. In July 2010, Judge Stephen White ruled that Peterson would remain in the Will County Jail for the remainder of his trial and appeals process. Prosecutors argued he could pose a danger if released. On July 21, 2010, it was revealed that hearsay statements indicating Drew Peterson killed two of his wives are not reliable enough for a jury to hear at his trial. After presiding over a lengthy hearsay hearing, Judge Stephen White issued a four-page sealed ruling in May obtained by the Daily Herald. White ruled that prosecutors proved Peterson killed both Kathleen Savio and Stacy Peterson by a preponderance of the evidence, but nearly all statements attributed to Stacy Peterson do not provide sufficient safeguards of reliability. Stacy Peterson's statements were crucial to the prosecution's case, as it lacked significant direct evidence. In April 2012, a ruling was made in the murder case of Kathleen Savio. An Illinois appellate court ruled that prosecutors could use eight statements made by both the victim prior to her death and by Peterson's still missing fourth wife Stacy prior to her disappearance. The ruling reversed Judge Stephen White's earlier decision. Drew Peterson's defense had contended that introduction of these alleged hearsay comments would constitute a violation of the defendant's Sixth Amendment right to confront any witnesses testifying against him. The prosecution was helped by the passage of a new Illinois law, 725 ILCS 5115-10.6, that became known as Drew's Law, which allows prosecutors to enter hearsay statements into evidence under certain conditions. Passed while investigators were looking for Stacy Peterson, the legislation permits courts to consider statements from unavailable witnesses provided that prosecutors are able to prove that the witness was killed to prevent his or her testimony and that the hearsay statements are reliable. On August 22, 2012, Jeff Pachter, a witness at Peterson's murder trial, said Peterson offered him $25,000 to hire someone to kill Savio and told him it would be a secret he would take to his grave. Equals verdict equals, on September 6, 2012. Drew Peterson was found guilty of the premeditated murder of Kathleen Savio. Jurors admitted that the most compelling evidence was based on the hearsay statements allowed under Drew's law. On February 21, 2013, Judge Edward Bemala refused to grant Peterson a new trial. Equals sentencing equals, on February 21, 2013. Peterson was sentenced to 38 years in prison for the murder of his third wife and was transferred to Stateville Correctional Center the next morning where he was processed and then moved to Pontiac Correctional Center where he was inmate M35067. He is currently incarcerated at Menard Correctional Center. Lifetime Television Movie In June 2011, Lifetime Television began filming Drew Peterson, Untouchable depicting the events surrounding the death of Kathleen Savio and the disappearance of Stacy Peterson. Rob Lowe portrayed Drew Peterson in the film, and Kaylee Carco portrayed Stacy Peterson. Peterson filed a cease and desist letter demanding that production on the movie be halted. The film aired on January 21, 2012. May 23, 2012. September 2, 2012. And September 16, 2012. August 31, 2015, September 6, 2015, September 26, 2015, and September 30, 2015. References External links Indictment, Dateline NBC's interview with Drew Peterson, Drew Peterson featured on America's Most Wanted, Savio v. Peterson Complaint